Hi there, my name is Alan Cantos, and I'll be demonstrating with you a workflow of extracting data from Revit using DynamoScript and publish the result automatically to an Excel file which then link to your Power BI project. With a few clicks of a mouse button, your Power BI dashboard will provide you the up-to-date information. Let's get started. Here is the Excel file I've created for this demonstration. As you can see, I have completed from building A01, B01, C01 up to C07. Building C08 doesn't have any information yet and our goal is to get this value automatically from Revit using Dynamo. Going back to the Revit model, since we are at the early stage of the project, our structural engineer haven't designed the foundation yet and therefore we can only see slabs, columns, and walls. Perhaps there are some beams. Let's have a quick check of this model to find out what are the elements present. So we have the floors, we have the structural columns, we have walls, and there are no structural beams present. I have already set up my Power BI dashboard for this demonstration. I'm not going into detail of recreating them again. I'll create a separate video presentation for this if you all wish to learn how I did this dashboard. Alright, first things first. Give your dashboard a title. As you can see, this dashboard is about Clapham Park Tonnage Summary. On the left hand side, we have the selection tool where you can select each individual building. Next column is a table identical to your Excel file, showing the overall tonnage for each individual buildings and a total summary in red. At the bottom, light yellow box give you the total tonnage value of selected building. I've added an image at the upper right hand side to highlight where in the site plan those buildings are located. Finally, we have the bar chart of each building with respect to the calculated tonnage at the lower right hand corner. Our goal is to add the building CO8 information on this dashboard with just few clicks to maximum. We will get back to this Power BI dashboard once we are done running the Dynamo script. Now we'll get back to Revit and run the Dynamo. Dynamo icon is under Manage tab in Revit 2017. Uh, seems like I have it open. All right. If you have other Dynamo version installed on your machine, just select the latest version from the list. I am using Dynamo 1.2.1. I will not recreate the script I've created for previous buildings. Instead, we will reuse it. We can actually use that script again and again. So in this case, let's open the most recent Dynamo file and do a little bit of changes to make it suitable for the CO8 building. So here's the script. Let's save it as a new file. Call it as CO8. So we have here the structural floor, RC beam, RC column, structural wall, pile caps, and foundation slab. We don't have pile caps. We don't have foundation, foundation slab, so we'll let, it will not be added on this list. And take note, we also don't have structural RC beam, so let's take it out from our list. And move it item 2, move it item 3, remove one item. Right, let's start by creating schedule.
we need the type and we need the volume then we'll be using the volume to create a calculated volume calculated value for the weight sort by type don't forget to tick these grand totals a little bit of formatting I'd like to use three decimal places same thing with the calculated value and don't forget to tick to choose calculate totals we need to get rid of this gap here by applying no title view template take note of this number 11 we can use that value here so here's my script We'll be creating a list of totals from these three element members and it will save that total to that excel file on column number one row number uh, let's check so dynamo starts the counting from zero so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this should be 10 now we'll do the same thing for the other elements by creating column schedule We need the type, we need the volume, create a calculated volume, calculated value to convert the volume into weight in kilogram filter by type don't forget to check grand totals until a little bit of formatting again use three decimal places and choose calculate totals get rid of this gap by choosing no title view template then let's see how many beams we create on the list we have 240 select this RC column weight schedule we have 240 so next structural wall in the type in the volume use the volume to calculate the weight in kilogram
by type grand totals three decimal places fix to three decimal places and choose calculate totals get rid of the gap by choosing no title view filter let's see how many we have on the list we have 108 double check column 1 0 1 row number 10 Z 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right let's hit run and this should give us a value there you have it all right gives us a total of 6092.522 tons now that we have the updated value make sure the file is saved then go back to the power bi file all we need to do now is to refresh the link excel file As we can see here, it gives us blank information. So to, to refresh the Excel file, go to the fields on the right hand side, right click on the tonnage summary and hit refresh data. Your dashboard should update and give you information for the CO8 building. The table also updates and your bar chart gives you the CO8 building information. That's all for me now and thanks for watching.